What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Shout out to all those beginner investors and traders out there. Y'all already know who it is. But if you don't, Ficky, 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 this is Kavai Ray Valentine. You done pulled up to the block market. This is hood money investing. I wanted to take this time to respond to a comment to a fellow investor that asked my opinion about band protocol and Cardano. I want to say I appreciate you for leaving the comment because it happened to give me an opportunity to do some more homework on band protocol. And I would have to say it looks like a good investment. Remember, I'm not a fan financial advisor. I'm not an investing guru. So you got to do your own homework on the block market. Got to get out there and make sure the jakes and the snakes and they, they're watching. You know what I'm saying? Get out there, do your own due diligence. But I have to say, I did my homework. And you know what's funny? The creator of uh, Band Protocol happened to be an investor in Chainlink. And if you don't know anything about Chainlink, Chainlink is uh, actually helping uh, the Oracle. The Oracle is like... Uh, a data processing center, so to speak. Like it's like the main hub, right? That has the data and information that can be sent out to blockchains. Okay. I'm going to try to put it as simple as I possibly can because all that, you know, nerd stuff will confuse people. Right. And chain link is sort of like a connection, a bridge, you know, to uh, blockchains that can't uh get that information from uh the, the 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 source the oracle okay and chain link like i said it's like a bridge and uh a band, band protocol is another bridge uh for oracle pretty much okay uh is 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 you know now if you jumped in and invested in it months ago you would have been good as you can see right now I think it's down because I was checking checking it out earlier and um the hell is going on I'm trying to get this okay chain link let's see Dan let's go check that out okay yeah it's down one percent and it might have another pullback. You know, but you can't even. Oh, yeah, you can. You can purchase it here. I think it's on Binance as well. But, um, yeah, it's, it's, it's sort of like a bridge, you know, uh, so that you can uh, get data, you know, for different things. I mean, like sports news. I mean, uh, it, it, it could possibly help with real time, you know what I mean, for stocks and, you know, just just different things. It's, 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 it, it helps bridge, you know, data information pretty much. I mean, it's a lot more that goes into it, but that's just you know, it, it's almost like which uh, it's, it's, it's almost like having, uh, you know, the Internet and, you know, for you to obtain the Internet, you have to pick a cell like a provider and you know uh to be able to get on that internet you know you pick a provider and then, you know you that's it's a lot more it's it's simple but it's 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 a lot you know because you have the smart contracts and the smart contracts are you know they run through the blockchain but the blockchain is built based on whatever company or you know uh, entity is using that blockchain and then the blockchain has to be fed information, you know, from outside of the blockchain. It's just, it's just, <laughs> you got to do your own homework, but it's not, it's not as, it's not as hard to understand as they, they make it, you know, you see what I'm saying? So, uh, I would have to say being as though that, you know, the, uh, the, uh, creator of uh band band protocol happened to invest in um uh, chain link and you know since i happened to invest in chain link and i had it you know a little bit and you know i understand what it's for i would say yes it's a it's a good investment now remember don't listen to me you know do your own do have your own due diligence 
do your own work, you know, and um, make sure you look up, you know, as much information as possible, you know, before you jump into the stock market, you know, make sure you talk to a financial advisor, you know, or professional. Remember, I'm not an investing, you know, I'm not a professional, you know what I mean, nothing like that. You know, this is my just my own personal opinion, being a beginner, you know what I mean? Like I said, I've been investing for almost four years and then I started really getting involved like during the pandemic, you know what I'm saying? And once I found out, you know, I felt like a smooth criminal, but I also felt like it was criminal that people didn't know about this way to make money, you know? So I wanted to help people see what the capabilities were if you did some homework and research. You know, you can go check my portfolio out when, I mean, it was, it was, it was a lot lower than that. It was higher, but I'm saying when I first doing, you know, I started doing videos, but I didn't start loading them till almost, you know, about eight, nine months ago, you know, and, um, you can see from there how far I've grew my portfolio. It was a lot higher than that, but I decided to skim and take money off the top and, you know, things like that because I wanted to make sure I was profiting. But at the same time, I wanted to show beginner investors and traders, you know, one of the portfolios and the possibilities, you know, or the capabilities of investing, you know, and when you research and invest in the right companies, you know, so... Oh, Doge, man, it looks like it's bouncing back and forth. Uh, I'm trying to see it drop back down to that 50 cent mark, man, so I can grab some back up. I got a feeling, man, Doge is going to run, but I just also think it's going to come down. I think it's just going to come down and shock a lot of people. I do. Now, I know there's a lot of, you know, uh, big wigs hovering around it, advertising it and things like that, but that could just be to run up the price, you know, so that they can and uh, <laughs> make some big money and then, you know, drop that bag off on people, you know. So I, I'm kind of like suspicious about those a little bit because, I mean, even though, you know, you should be suspicious about any and everything, it's just that, you know, based on it being a joke and all that. And I mean, I, I had my, you know, belief in Doge, but with XRP and Cardano and Stellar Lumen and I mean, all these other cryptocurrencies that have better use cases and, you know, better utility and all that. I mean, people don't even talk. I don't even hear a lot of people talking about Algorand, you know, but um, it's just I, I, I don't I don't I don't I, now. Okay, basically, I'll say this because this will answer the question about the Cardano, you know, because I definitely uh, have uh, purchased uh, Cardano coins, some coins, okay? Now, I'll say this. Um, I believe that, you know, it's about whatever people want it to be at this moment. You know what I mean? We live in, in a time where, you know, the retail investor is becoming so powerful. It, it's about what the people, you know, may possibly want at this particular moment. So, you know, if you're invested in, I mean, just it, it, it just so happens at the moment, Bitcoin is, you know, the leader. I mean, it was designed to, you know, make people feel like they were controlling their own funds. You see what I'm saying? So with that in mind, you have all these other cryptocurrencies, which are, you know, all coins. And now you have uh, everybody fighting for a position. And, you know, it's now that people have some sort of, I mean, it's still fairly new. Crypto is still fairly new to a lot of people. I mean, it's new to me still. I mean, I know a lot more than some people, but I mean, when I listen to some people talk about it, I'm like, oh, okay. Uh, you know what I mean? I'm just like dig dug over here. It's just getting pumped up with knowledge. You know what I mean? And um, I, 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 I'm sitting around saying to myself, I know this is going to be huge, you know, but it's just based on where people decide to put their money and their belief in those specific altcoins, you know, that they put their money into, you know, so uh, uh, that's just how I feel. I think Cardano would do just as good as, I mean, come on, Dogecoin? I mean, and, and Dogecoin is, ha is starting to, you know, get adopted by like i said these million these billionaires and they have some sort of use case for dogecoin in their mind you know but 
that can still be sort of like a coupon. You know what I mean? Dogecoin doesn't necessarily have to be considered a currency. You know, um, people can just get their hype, you know, up and then and believe it's a currency, but it's some sort of token or, you know, some sort of game token or something like that. And it's not real actual currency. Now, if you have a certain amount now, it can possibly am amount up to some sort of real currency. And when they finally, you know, tune out everything, I mean, it, it can, I mean, it could possibly be big. I don't know. It was broke with the, the, the Bitcoin source code. I don't know. I, I mean, nobody knows right now. Let's just be honest, man. Like I'm sitting around, Look. Like I said, we deal with psychology, we deal with common sense, and we deal with the news and the information and, and allow that, you know, to make smart, you know, decisions based on, like I said, the psychology around the, 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 the crypto exchanges and the, 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 the people and the, the stock market. So one thing I have to say is, I mean, I mean, just by, I just don't everything the, the way things are going right now i mean they it's just no telling i i mean yes i believe cardano has the possibility to 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 reach 15 20 bucks man i mean because we're talking about dogecoin having the run that it did within this year man it's Anything is possible you have altcoins that nobody knows about that is jumping 50 50 times man 50x 100x you know i mean a lot of these altcoins are being held down at the moment particularly you know one uh, you know that i mean one in particular is xrp it's being held down like a mug you know especially with that lawsuit you know, so uh, that's just how I feel about it. You know, uh, forgive me if I was rambling, you know, because this is not the stock market. You know, if you think it is, you, you pull it up in your Riviera, you pull it up in your Lexus, your Yugos, your, your, your El Caminos. I don't got them. Go ahead, make a U-turn because this ain't Wall Street. This is the block market. You know what I mean? We deal with common sense. There's too many people jumping in and out of the market because they thinking they're going to get rich. And this is the perfect time for people like us that do have a little bit of experience to make some money off of these people that are going to be f jumping in and out scared, not without trying to understand, you know, how these things go you know you have to be patient you have to uh check out the patterns look at the patterns make sure you up on some news you know and um keep your ear to the streets every day every single day you know uh and uh forgive me if i didn't explain uh ban, ban protocol uh the way that you know you might have liked you know i know that it's like blockchain and i know that i mean i said blockchain like chain link excuse me and uh with that in mind and knowing that i know that you know the potential of it maybe being a little bit less than half of a uh, chain link is possible and chain link isn't done running you know, it's the only one in this space. And then now you have ban protocol. So, you know, right now it's not even about competition. I mean, it's about these uh, industries and companies or whatever you want to call them, businesses, you know, and things like that. It, it, it's, it's all about helping them bridge that connection uh to for smart contracts and you know for the blockchain and all that so you know i i just think if if chain link happens to do uh good i i it's possible that you know band protocol would do the same thing so just do your own work do your research jump on and check it out you know uh i looked i checked out a couple interviews um with the uh the creator and uh he seems like a really really uh uh cool chill uh smart individual you know with uh a good plan in mind you know uh he seems transparent i mean he doesn't seem like of course everybody has you know their uh 
what they what they plan on doing behind closed doors. But he does seem like, you know, he wants to help solve real world problems when it comes to finances, you know, and uh, collecting information and 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 helping uh, make transactions and things like that. Uh, so, uh, I, I mean, look, I feel like if you do your homework and you really believe in something, I think, you know, you should go with what you believe. Because if I would have did everything that I believed six, seven months ago with with a hundred percent conviction, I would be up ten times what I'm up now. And I mean, I'm I've made us a, a, a good a good amount of profit. But I mean, I would be up 10 times, man. I would probably be almost a millionaire. You know what I mean? Just to be honest. And I'm not saying that to pump up my channel. I'm, I don't, I'm not asking anybody to donate nothing. I'm not asking. This is solely to help beginner investors and traders. You know what I'm saying? Like myself, that was cautious, aware, and kind of like, I don't know. It'd be a lot of scandalous stuff when it goes on with, you know, when it comes down to the marketing, when it comes down to these, you know, uh, stocks and these companies and this, that and the third. You got Ponzi schemes. You got all this. It's just so much stuff when it comes to investing. And I just didn't want to, you know, fall victim. But it was the best decision I made, you know, uh, and I want to help share that with people. So look like those is running back up. And uh, yeah, man, I think Cardano would be a good investment. I had, I definitely had to remember, I can't get financial advice or do your homework, but I'm invested in Cardano. You know, uh, I wish I would have known about Band Protocol months ago because it would have been a great investment months ago. You would have came up at least 10x. You know what I'm saying? But um, that's just my opinion. Um, I appreciate you, beginner investors and traders, and whoever else decides to come in and check me out. Uh, please, man, check me out on Instagram. Follow me if you, you know, uh, get the need to, you know, or feel the need to, or, you know, want to just check it out, see how I'm living or see what we're doing over here, you know, at Kavai underscore Ray Valentine. That's Kavai underscore Ray Valentine. Sagittarius. You know what I'm saying? He, <laughs> he, said, he, said, uh, he said, I'm a karate man because karate man brews on the inside. But you wouldn't know that because you a big Barry White looking mom. Big dumb Barry White looking mom. But nah, uh, <laughs> ah, nah, man. But uh, yeah, man, I appreciate all y'all for tuning in, man. We're going to keep on bringing it, man, and doing my best to help y'all make this money, man. We're going to keep on making this money, flipping, dipping, toastito, chipping. I don't want to see, I don't want nothing. Only thing I want to see is people get rich. <laughs> That's it. You know what I'm saying? Because money is access. And the minute that we start to gain access, this is when you get these politicians starting to get shaking their boots. You know what I mean? Because then we can control things. We can make decisions, you know, that they can't, they might not be able to get out of. You know, uh, when you educate yourself about financial, like, like, like when you try to obtain financial literacy, educate yourself and you, 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 you start learning d different methods, you know, uh, 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 how to make money, man, it, 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 it's, it's just unbelievable, you know, and that's the reason why I'm, like I say, forgive me for rambling, but I be, I'm blown away about all the things that I'm finding out, you know, I found out in the last two years. I'm like blown away, you know, so that's one of the reasons why, you know, I just feel like, you know, it's my job to help, you know, at least try to steer a person in this direction. I know I probably can't make them, you know, or make them listen to everything, but I'm just like, yo, just look over there. And hopefully if they see it, they just say, oh, and, you know, keep it, you know, try that out, you know, so that's just my uh my view of things and how I see it, and I just want to help. That's all. So I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all for tuning in, man. And uh, I'm gonna get out of here. This is Vibrate Valentine. This is a block market hood money investing. They out there panicking right now. I can feel it. They out there. They're panicking. Look at them. Now you're not naive enough to think we're living in a democracy, are you, buddy? It's the free market. You're part of it.
Something just came across my desk, John. It is perhaps the best thing I've seen in the last six months. If you have 60 seconds, I'd like to share the idea with you. You got a minute? After everything we've done for you. Oh, see, I made Lewis a bet here. Lewis bet me that we couldn't both get rich and put you on the poorhouse at the same time. He didn't think we could do it. I won. I lost. One dollar. Thank you, Lewis. After you. Certainly. <laughs>